The Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, is normally a joyous day in the Jewish community but not last year in Steamboat Springs. We had an incident at the local high school where a Jewish student, uh, his car was, um, was vandalized with a uh, swastika um, drawn in kind of the dirt in his car um, by a group of students. Rabbi Colby Morris Dahari leads the Har Mishpacha Synagogue in Steamboat. She says the incident was deeply disturbing to say the least. We all agree that this is unacceptable behavior in our community. We all agree that we're better than this. According to the Anti-Defamation League, the incident in Steamboat was one of 71 anti-Semitic incidents in Colorado last year, down from 92 the year before, but still the second highest number of incidents in Colorado since the ADL started keeping track in 1979. Anti-Semitism, which has been something that's been around for thousands of years, is still rearing its ugly head at this time. Scott Levin is director of the ADL's Mountain States region. He says he's extremely concerned that the large number of anti-Semitic incidents over the years has desensitized people to the harm the incidents cause. We cannot allow anti-Semitism to become just so normalized that people accept it as being something that just occurs in society. It shouldn't. According to the ADL, the number of anti-Semitic incidents nationwide increased by 36 percent last year compared to the year before to a total of nearly 3,700. Alex? Yeah, the idea of being desensitized is such an interesting thought because I feel like we have those own conversations in our newsroom. You know, we feel the obligation to report hate crimes, blackface, whatever have you. But are we doing more harm by bringing attention to it and helping normalize it whenever we report on it? It's an interesting thought and a big problem. Yeah, it sure is.